at the Vovchansk aggregate plant held by the Russians until recently, enemy commanders violently forced their subordinates to pursue futile resistance, thus dooming them to death amid the advance of the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence Units. This was reported by the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence Press Service. According to Ukrainian Defense Intelligence spokesman Andriy Cherniak, the mission to liberate the plant had been prepared for months and the mission's ultimate success greatly contributed to the effectiveness of further actions by Ukraine's defense forces. This was critical for facilitating our logistics as much as possible, supporting of our forces located in the area. This will further enable Ukraine's defense forces to conduct counter-offensive moves and drive the enemy out of Ukrainian land said the spokesman. He added that the Russians holding the plant suffered grave manpower losses because their commanders, through brutal violence, effectively condemned their soldiers to a senseless death. Actually, Russian commanders were doing some terrifying, wild and deranged things to their subordinates. It's about premeditated murders. It's about terror. This is another example where Russian soldiers have no rights, as they are not seen as human beings at all, Cherniak noted. On the 24th of September, special units of the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence fully liberated the territory of the Vovchansk aggregate plant, eliminating dozens of elite Russian fighters and capturing occupiers. The plant is now under the control of the armed forces of Ukraine. According to Ukrainian intelligence, Representative Andriy Yusov, preparation for the mission to liberate the plant took several weeks. Ukrainian military intelligence forces successful clearance of the factory building holds significant importance for future defense forces operations. It was necessary to simplify logistics and supply our forces based in this region. In the future, this will enable the Ukrainian defense forces to carry out counter-offensive operations and drive the enemy from Ukrainian land said Yusov. He added that the Russian forces at the plant suffered heavy losses as their leaders had essentially sent their soldiers to senseless deaths. Truly horrific, wild and bizarre things happened there, committed by Russian commanders against their subordinates, involving deliberate killings and terror. It's another example of how Russian soldiers have no rights and are not even regarded as human beings. Yusov emphasized, as reported earlier, special operations units of Ukraine's defense intelligence captured nearly 20 Russian invaders during the liberation of the Vovchansk aggregate plant. Dozens of aircraft struck Houthi targets in Yemen on Sunday in response to a recent attack on Israel, according to the Israeli military. The military says it targeted power plants and seaport facilities in the city of Hodeida. The Houthi media office said the Israeli strikes hit the Hodeida and Ras Issa ports along with two power plants in Hodeida city, which is a stronghold for the Iranian-backed rebels. Fire and plumes of smoke could be seen in the air over Hodeida after the strikes. The group said it had taken precautionary measures and Israel strikes would not stop Houthi attacks on shipping routes and on Israel. The Houthis launched a ballistic missile attack on Israel's Ben Gurion airport on Saturday as Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu was arriving on a flight from the United States.